Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and today we are setting up my bullet journal for the month of July. Not too long ago, I got these stickers from Easy Craft Art, and I decided I wanted to take the inspiration and do a daisy-themed July bullet journal. So, I'm going to set those stickers aside for now. I've got my Tombos in 062 and 192. I've got some Pigma Microns in 01 and 05, or no, 08, I should say, sorry. And I am just going to open up here and set up July. Oh, that is the wrong page. Here is going to be the cover page. Um, I uh, am just really going to wing it today. I am feeling unmotivated to set this up for some reason. So we are just going to go for it and I'm going to see how these daisies turn out. Not bad. It's a little off kilter, but uh, that's good. <laughs> Let's see if we can do better the next time. <laughs> okay, that one turned out better. I like that one. Yeah, cute. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple smaller ones. I want the pen to fully dry before I add yellow because I feel like it could definitely smear. So this is where we're going to leave it for now. Next up we've got my calendar spread. I'm not doing anything different here. The one funky thing I am doing with this calendar is the 1st of July is technically a Saturday. And with my Sunday start, it would have been a six week calendar. And so I decided to put the first at the very bottom of the calendar, which will be wonky, but it'll work. Okay, okay. I, if you haven't seen any of my setups in the past, you will know that I like to a splash of color so whoops hope I didn't give too much away there that was a uh, <laughs> planning page for my July TBR well, let's bring in these stickers we're gonna do just a great big sunflower there. It's times like these where I understand why people have those tweezers for stickers. But we can do a pretty good job. Uh, then I think I'll just kind of do July. Look at that. 
sure. You know what? I definitely was going to have another green represented here. I believe it was this one, the 228. That should go with that a little bit better. Um, let's see. We're going to put a little note section over here. Oh, yes. That looks good. Kind of a sagey green. So, I've been liking doing this um, bit of color on every second line. So, we're going to do that. Just for the notes section there. And then I think we're going to try to do a gradient effect. Lightest to darkest. Sure. I am going to start this one as the lightest because it's technically the first, right? I feel like you're barely even going to be able to see this color. But that's okay. Then I'll do a second swatch of color. Makes it darker. You can see. That's what I was going for. It's very bright yellow. Didn't think it'd do that, but that's okay. And we'll do this green, which is a little bit <laughs> more unforgiving than the yellow. I feel like I could kind of go outside of the lines with the yellow, and you wouldn't even be able to tell. But you can definitely tell with the screen. Okay, and this will be the two swatches. Mm -hmm. And last week will be this dark green. Yeah, that's pretty enough. Let's see. Oh no. Quality of these stickers is showing. This completely just ripped off. Okay, well, that's not perfect. I think I'll add another one right here. That one. Gonna hopefully not rip it this time. There we go. Just need to be a bit more careful. Okay, cute. I don't know what I'll put here. I feel like something deserves to go here. A quote or something. I might figure that out later. Okay, let's... Number July should be a very relaxing month for us. Uh, Willie will be done with marching band, which, if you don't know, my husband is a high school band director high school, middle school band director, and his life is crazy busy in June with all of the parades that he does in Minnesota. So July, that will all slow down, and uh, 
he's not starting anything for the new year, the next school year, until August. So we're actually taking a long 10-day trip to the family cabin. Sorry, I had to stop talking to make sure I wasn't messing up the numbers. Gosh, July's a long month. Anyway, uh, a long family trip to the cabin. So that should be great, relaxing. My sister is also getting married in July, so there's a lot of fun stuff going on in July. And I thought this bright theme was just perfect for the summer. So here's my habit tracker, and we're going to do something completely different. I am going to get my ruler out because, you know, I normally do these little mini calendar habit trackers but my sister inspired me she is habit tracking this summer just as something to do she's a school teacher and so she uh wants to make sure she still has some semblance of habit routine in her life and so she decided to do a habit tracker she sent me a picture of it and it's like the old school vertical habit tracker so i'm gonna do a version of that in my journal but I'm gonna make it oh did I say vertical she does a horizontal one I'm going to do a vertical one where I have the dates going down the left side and then the habits going along the top I'll either write the habits up and down like this or use a little um, picture to represent the habit. I'm trying to decide. I don't think I'm gonna break up the box at all. Like actually draw the grid lines. But for an example, one of mine is to wake up before six in the morning. And so for that, I'd maybe draw a little sun. And I like to go to bed by 10 or be in bed by 10. So for that, I could draw a little moon. Kind of cute. And then I don't know if I'll use my Zig clean color dot markers. I have a nice green and I think I have a yellow, although it's missing. Can someone tell me where my yellow one is. frustrating anyway I could use dots or I could just color it in my sister is coloring hers in so maybe I would do that now what has my font been just kind of like a oh there you go you see some more just been kind of a uh, cursive so we will do the same kind of a thing I guess habits I don't know feels empty maybe I could just put a little sunflower or something cute I'll have to add more decorations somehow I don't know how but I will maybe someday I'm pretty minimalist when it comes to decorating my journal and I've really found a system, a setup that works for me, that um, I'm tracking things that I actually enjoy and that helps me. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is for my cleaning checkers and health trackers. And guys, I gotta tell you, I am currently on week three of my four week or 27 day uh, clean fast. I'm trying intermittent fasting out this month. And I did have one day where I messed up, ate some ice cream later than I should have, um, and then couldn't quite make the fast the next morning. So guess it's not a full 27 days but I'm still doing really well with it I'm gradually adding more time so I started with a 12 12 so 
fasted for 12 hours, ate for 12 hours, and then I went to 1410, and now this week I'm doing 168, and it's working pretty well. So let's just, let's continue putting, I have a couple more just plain daisies so I can uh, put cleaning with a little daisy, whatever side I mess up on, and then uh, one for my health too. Cleaning. Cleaning. What side needs the daisy? This side, that looks like a D. And I did the loop on this H and not on that H. Whatever. Whatever. For those of you who haven't seen me set up my cleaning tracker before, these top five tasks are things I try to do every day. And then these bottom, I don't even know how many, 10, are things that I would like to do once a week. And these uh, little boxes are the days I would like to have them done on. So I always do a few things each day. Friday is usually a day off though. So I'm just marking those in and can kind of show you <laughs> except I'm doing so terribly cleaning this month this month is like just a mess with my husband being gone but here's you know how it goes things aren't done in the days that I tell them to be and I'm not doing all those things every day so just being real also a bunch of these tasks this month or for the month of July are not going to get done for those 10 days that we are gone but that's okay. Maybe I can do something similar at the cabin because you know how, well, maybe you don't know, but when we go to the cabin, the very end of the trip, you always have to, you know, clean up the cabin to leave it in a good state. So maybe I, we could be cleaning as we go. So it doesn't always, or it doesn't land all at the end the 24th is a monday it's my birthday july 24th i'll be 28 this year doesn't seem like a big one but hopefully we'll celebrate a little bit at the cabin And then my sister gets married the following weekend. So lots of fun stuff in July. Okay, those pages are looking pretty clean and sleek and that's how I'm liking it right now. So we'll keep it that way. Then this is my, you know, my reading tracker. And I think I'll put some flowers on these bottom corners just to use up these daisy stickers. You know, I have a daisy theme in my bullet journal. Might as well use them. Um, don't. I normally like to do a border around these reading pages, so I think that's what I'll do in this yellow.
my sister is texting me asking me what she should read next and I feel so honored her choices are between romantic comedy and lunar love and I think I'm going to tell her romantic comedy that's the book I'm reading currently and I'm enjoying myself I'm a big SNL fan so this feels like SNL uh, I think I should go behind this Okay, yeah, that's cute. And uh, this is where I keep track of my progress in all the books that I'm reading. It's like I do a little progress bar for each book. So each day I figure out how far I am percentage wise in the book and fill it in on here. It's maybe a little bit much, but it's really fun at the end of the month and just throughout the month to see my progress in the book. So that'll be my first bar there first progress bar and I always just put my do I do do I write deck of TBR what do I do here TBR I'll just yeah I think I want to do deck of TBR deck of TBR and then over here I do goals, Ugh, but I always need to measure out the progress bar. Depends how far that goes. So, goals can go. Like that. Okay, for cute. I just need to fill in this. <laughs> I can't leave these random lines here. Okay, now, if we go back to, oh my gosh, you just keep getting sneak peeks of that. Okay, if I go back to this, and here's my eraser, erase some of the pencil lines that I had going. And then, do I dare add color? I'm gonna try. Oh, it's working. And then, did get a little bit of black on it, but then I'm just going to add some color coming out of the center of the daisies on each petal. Yes? Yeah, I think. Mm, does that look weird? Maybe. No, I think it's okay. You can probably barely even see it. But it just gives a little bit more color to the page. Can I just show you how much better this daisy looked? I don't know why these ones turned out funky, but Practice round always goes better for me. All right, last daisy. Ta-da! There it is. All right, this is pretty much <laughs> the July bullet journal all set up. We've got my cover page, my calendar spread with a few daisy stickers around. I just got to add all my 
plans for the month. We've got my habit tracker, vertical habit tracker this time around, cleaning and health trackers, and my reading trackers. That's all we've got for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching this setup video. Like it on your way out, consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to see more bookish and bullet journaling content from me. Comment down below what you are looking forward to in the month of July, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!